Hey everybody, welcome to Kara's Cucina. I'm Kara DeFalco. Today I am going to show you how to make a fast, fresh, and easy snack or appetizer. We're going to make some homemade hummus with homemade pita chips. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. This is actually a really easy thing to make for yourself at home and of course it becomes so much better for you when you make it at home. So I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I have some pita here. I already sliced up some of it. We're just gonna cut it into eight wedges. And then I have my cookie sheet lined with some foil. And I find the easiest thing to do with these is to just use an olive oil spray. Um, one to coat the foil and then we'll use it again to coat the chips. And you do want to be generous with it because we don't want anything to stick. We're going to get these all on here in a single layer. Give them a little space. We're going to give them whoops, another spray. And we're going to season them with some salt and pepper. And this is just really keeping it simple. You can go beyond this. You can put some oregano, you could put paprika, you could put whatever flavor you want. You want them a little spicy, you could put some chili powder on them. But we're just kind of covering the basics here. These are gonna go in four minutes. We're gonna flip them and then another four minutes. Hummus, for any of you who don't know, is a dip or spread made with chickpeas, tahini, and some lemon juice. Now, some people don't necessarily like the flavor of tahini. Tahini is a sesame uh, spread, pretty much like peanut butter or almond butter, but made with sesame seeds. I happen to really like it. Kind of gives it a little bit of a tangy flavor. So we've got two cans of chickpeas in here, and we are gonna add in some tahini. Now, with your amounts for this, it really depends on your texture. Uh, so if you want a really smooth or thin uh, hummus, you can add a little bit more uh, tahini and olive oil and lemon. If you want it to be a little thicker, you want to use more just the beans. We're gonna squeeze in our lemon juice here. Juice of about one lemon. I happen to like a lemony hummus. We're gonna cover this up and let it go. And using our little out at the top here, we're going to start adding in some olive oil. Top your hummus with a little bit of smoked paprika and a drizzle of fresh olive oil and get to dip in with those fresh chips. Guys, if you like this recipe, you can find the written version at caradevalco.com. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so you always know when there's a fresh recipe in the cucina. And of course, you can follow all of my foodie adventures at Cara DeFalco on Facebook and Instagram. That is it for this week in the cucina. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit.